Hello there, the favourite Harpuna here, ready for another double jeopardy hunt, in which I hunt two high rank Azuros, this time with the hammer weapon class and the upgrade, an upgrade to the Vodianoi hammer as the weapon of choice. Using the Ludroth type U armor set again, and you can pretty much guess that the weapon in question is a status based weapon. Now, a good upgrade my current Wadianoi hammer into the Bewitched Venotroth. We're going to keep it as it is for later on, and instead I'm going to forge the actual hammer. It's one of the few hammers. But I thought I could uh, forge. Oh, scratch that then. Can't forge it, so I'll look right into it instead. Let me double check. I was sure I could forge it. I'm probably confused confusing it with another weapon class, another weapon type that I've researched. It doesn't look like you can upgrade uh, forge this particular hammer. Oh well. We'll just go ahead and do the upgrade instead. Which is the Bewitched Benodroth. Does require some of the purple Ludroth or plum Ludroth materials, spongy hides, crests, I believe are common between the two Ludroths, and torrent sacks, which I believe again are common. Changes the colour of the hammer. Pretty much the same appearance, just a different colour, increase in raw damage, which is nice. Slight increase in green sharpness, not too much. Maybe more than enough for a hammer. Changes the water damage elemental to a poison type status. But keeps the slot to the weapon S, which I'll be using. Now that I have the hammer that goes with the same colour as the armour set, I'm going to set one of the decorations to the hammer, as I've done recently, one of the enduring jewels, to add some lasting power, which will negate the, uh, or remove the negative skill. At least the lasting power one. What am I saying? This is for a different armor set. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is perfectly okay. There's no need for this jewel here. Must have. I've got my information mixed up today for some reason. The one I would want to negate would be the thunder resistance, and it's not really much of a concern anyway. So I'm not going to do anything else. That last. Jewel has no effect, and it's the meals. If I can get meals straight today, we've got pyro and slugger, and the slugger is nice for hammer, which I'll probably just go for that one. This is a gunner type mix. Don't really need a or polisher, not so much. In fact, what skills do I have active? I think I just go for the slugger. Nope, this one. No extra health though, since they are all basic food items. They're fresh, but no stars on them. And use cash. And didn't get slugger. Oh well. Probably won't need it. So let's get the quest ready, double jeopardy, and off we go to hunt to Azuros. Actually, before anything, skills, didn't really read the skills. So the status stack, which will increase the poison damage, 
Speed Gather, Speed Sharpener, so don't really need Polisher. Pendergate Anger, which is nice, and Marathon Runner will work nicely for Hammer Charges. Charges. Okay, we seem to start a lot round here, no matter what the quest is. Not that I'm complaining, it's quite near of most of the starting areas of the monsters. So let's see what can we pull out first, a poison or a knockout. Ooh, nearly got hit there. Now maybe I should paint the one I'm attacking. Ooh, not well timed. That roll. Also hoping to roll past that claw attack. I'm gonna paint the one that I'm gonna attack. Ooh, that's too much damage really. Oh boy. Yeah, nice amount of damn day jump off. Of health healing that they've done. I really can't tell which one is painted. I think it's this one. Well, off comes the race. Careful the butt attack. Oh no, hey, when it happens. When they get flinched just as I'm about to, about to release the super pound. Wow, they hit. I didn't notice this before, they seem to have been hit really hard. Maybe it's because I have a low starting health or basic 100 points of health. Now, I really want to. Oh, there's the poison. Ernie's going away. And so is he. They seem to always leave together for some reason. Try to go for a knockout, maybe. Can we get a double? No, I guess they pushed each other out of the way. So I couldn't even hit the heads. Please don't so mean to the next area. Ah, what's that to happen? Well, I'm going to maximise my health. Just don't like all these risky manoeuvres. Maybe we could switch around the attacks now until the poison wears off. Ow. Which has already run out. So I couldn't I can't attack either of them. Let's see if I can get a spin attack. Okay, some poison damage, nice. Even triggered another poison on it. Let's try to do the same on this one in the meantime. It's a bit different from my, what I usually do, which is to focus one monster. What was he doing? What's like looking about? Can easily or trying to leave. But the bombs kind of stop him. I'm not totally sure how the poison works once the monster is in a different area than you. If they are still taking damage from it. Or simply the status stays until you reach the area, or someone goes into the area, and then they apply damage. Okay, that one is poisoned, so we'll switch again. So yes, when using poison, I do switch between the two monsters, just to try to maximise uh, 
the poison output damage. Mostly because once the monster is poisoned, the poison damage no longer has any effect until it runs its course. Okay. That seems slightly a homing attack. Or at least they can aim correct it as they go. Just about before they jump. I really don't like the first pound of the hammer dash. Comes out too slowly. And there's the first kill. Now I haven't painted the other Azuros, but he should still be in the other area. In the centre of the map. Or at least very nearby. Oh, he just comes over here. They seem to stick together, to some degree. This is why I like to use the charge attack more often than the first pound. Mostly because I can do this and release it, which is much faster than walking up to the monster and then just pound once. Too slight. Slow. Was that even attack that aiming at me or was it aimed at KM and that's why it hit me? Problem with the charge if it takes too long. You pretty much. Ooh! Didn't notice that one. You charge up for a super pound and then you have to choose to either go for a super pound or spin release. Yeah, I might just put it away and go for a draw and attack to the head. Can I? Nice. Ooh, lost sharpness now. Hopefully I don't need to sharpen. Ah, come on, really? They had to interrupt just before the pound connected to the, hit the ground, basically. Now, I could just sharpen because, I mean, I do have wet stones in this uh, speed sharpener, that skill that I have. So it's not really that much of a waste, although boss will probably just kill it. As it usually happens at the end of this quest. I um, guess not this time. Yeah, you guys keep the uh, Jaggies BC while I can't. Off. Hopefully, get a rock. Maybe two. Notice the crack on the on the wall. It's a bit of a legacy thing from the PSP era. The mining spots were usually had cracks in the walls. Let you know. And of course this map was first initially designed for the PSP. So it's going to have all those features drawn over. A few nice minerals here and there. But nothing that really drew, drew my attention. That was out of the ordinary. Rewards. Okay, we've got carabases, stout bones, armor spheres, plenty more carabases, honey, pelts, last versions of the pelts, a brace from the break, and a pelt from another of the breaks. So we've got both breaks this time, and some extra zeny from uh, the shiny, yeah, from the shinies. Again, you seem to always get a silver Azurus in this quest in a large size. Either the small one, not so small. It's a bit hard to tell 
what they consider small or not in measurements. So it is a Binder favorite harpooner hunting two Azuros, high rank Azuros, in the je double Jeopardy quest with the hammer weapon class and the bewitched Benodroth as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time and good hunting.